Who's kissing under the mistletoe shouldn't be the only juicy thing happening at your holiday party. Funny how often juicy and insane are used at holiday parties. Anyway, I wanna show you how to make an insanely flavorful prime rib. What you're gonna do is you're gonna start out with a beautiful piece of prime rib. Now there might be more of a fat cap than you would want if you're gonna roast it, so you can trim that down or you can have your butcher do it. Usually about a quarter of an inch is about right. Okay, once you have it, you're gonna dry it off and then you're gonna take a bowl and you're gonna mix McCormick basil leaves, about three tablespoons. Three tablespoons of McCormick oregano, about two tablespoons of garlic powder, about a tablespoon and a half of black pepper. You're gonna mix this up and then you're gonna brush your prime rib with oil. Why? Well, because you want all of that delicious seasoning to stick. Once the oil is brushed on, you're gonna coat the prime rib in salt. So once you have a nice liberal coating of salt on your prime rib, you're gonna take that incredible seasoning blend. You're gonna pour it on top. And then again, just gently press it into the top of the roast. You almost want it to make a crust. Now this is pretty easy, right? Like we've mixed a few spices and we've basically just patted it onto a beautiful prime roast. You're gonna place it into your pan and then you're gonna cook it at 350 degrees for about three hours based off of the amount of meat I have here. All right, once your work area is cleaned and your hands are washed, you can chop your vegetables. Now I've already done that. You can also make an incredible side sauce for the prime rib, which is French's Worcestershire, garlic, black pepper, sour cream, and horseradish. It's delicious on prime rib, it's delicious on vegetables, it's delicious on a chip, let's be honest. Your prime rib has turned into a crusty, juicy, delicious piece of meat. However, all of the pan drippings deserve a little attention. Instead of making an au jus, what I'd like to do is add the Brussels sprouts, parsnips, onions and carrots. They not only soak up all of that flavor in the juice, but that way they roast up nicely for the next hour in the pan too. I'm gonna pop this back in for an hour. I'm gonna go find some mistletoe. All right. So, now that your prime rib is gorgeous and crusted with all these seasonings, and the vegetables have been caramelized and soaked up all of that delicious flavor, it's time to plate it and serve it, baby. Take the prime rib out of the pan first. And then you can take all your root vegetables, easily slide it onto your platter. Make a nice little perimeter. And then you can slice your prime rib and place it in the center. Are you ready? Make sure your holiday season is juicy in all the right ways. Subscribe below and happy holidays.